Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. We are joined by Wendy Scott, our professional of the year. Excited to have our amazing professional closet designer joining us here. Timeless closets and cabinetry. She is back live on the show floor today. We're going to talk more about all the specific designs and custom closets that she does. And this woman has a lot of experience. And let me tell you, she is on fire today. She's live from where? We are at Closet Possible located in Montgomery, New Jersey, with my good buddy, Barry. Hola. Hi, Barry! How are you? This is Barry, stay, don't leave me. So, um, Jill's going to ask us how we how to get a hold of you. Okay. Yes. So, tell, tell us, us Barry. Where, where, how, do, how do we reach you? You can reach me via the website, which is closetpossible.com, or 267-566-3222, or... Barry at closetpossible.com. Beautiful. Yes. And you can get me at Timeless Closets and Cabinetry for all my social media channels and my cell, 908 328 7004, timelessclosetsandcabinetry.com. Beautiful. And now we're on a field trip. So we're going to reverse the camera somehow. Okay. You got this. And reverse. And wow. reverse. Wow. So this is what happens when you first walk in, and I apologize, I get dizzy, you dizzy. No, so this is beautiful. Go this ahead. is the Closet Possible showroom, and that's Barry. Hello. Oh my God. Hi. And we're going to walk over to Barry's piece de resistance over Ooh. here. Ooh. Now, the one thing that you don't see in my closet when we hang out there is lights. Uh -huh. I only had that little piece of lights. And... um. This is one of his displays. It's the pretty one that's in the window with one of Barry's favorite colors <laughs> and one of his most popular colors. So I'm going to get close. Sure. This color. It's called white chocolate. So who wouldn't love that? Oh, my goodness. And it has a texture. Okay. So, Barry, this is one of your most popular? It is actually our most popular color. Wow. For that is a lot of my clients have dark hardwood floors in their primary closets. And rather than going with plain white material, they like the color combination here that the white chocolate offers. The white chocolate goes with so many different colors that it's become our number one color. Wow. And, and again, Show me again. I mean, Get a little closer. Gonna, I want really to see. So what he's talking about is it's still it definitely has grain variation. Okay. So we can see it against the floor. Yeah. It's pulling out the dark vein without trying to compete. It's got a compliment a compliment to it. This door that you see is called a transitional door. So it's a shaker that has a piece of material added to it to give it a little more umph. Barry, you want to tell us some other fun stuff in this closet? Oh my gosh, I'd love to. So on the island here. We're able to demonstrate a wide variety of options. We have everything from jewelry trays that are custom made to fit snugly in the drawer. We have a man's valet that doesn't require so many specific openings. For my Indian clientele, we have a way to store their bangle bracelets so they can oh. store them in this closet. Room. And we put a black felt backdrop to it so the colors really stand out. It's like artwork when you're looking at the bangles. Here we have a nice sunglass tray for people who are ultra fashionable. And we also offer trays if a gentleman has ties and uh, ties and belts they want to store. Or if a woman has scarves she'd like to store. This is another way to do it in a very neat and orderly fashion. Beautiful. And can you lift out those felt pieces to switch it out or change it out if you realize in the future, maybe I'm not going to have as many belts. Can I take that out and put something else in there? Oh, absolutely. And you can take it with you if you decide to move. And to that point, we also offer a variety of locks ranging from an electronic lock where behind here, you see a felt bottom that doesn't have any dividers. So the felt bottom allows somebody to decide how they want to lay out their jewelry as opposed to having a trade determinant for them. This is one kind of lock which operates 
on a key card or so, through an app. So at the end of the day, does this stay here? No, no. So that's gone. That's just so you know where it's at. Exactly. My installer thinks I'm forgetful. Got it. So he was kind enough to put the queue here. We also offer a keyed lock. And in this closet, we have a number of accessories ranging from a board for necklaces and bracelets. We also offer tie bars, which is an easy and convenient way to store ties. Ooh, wait, wait, I'll do that again. It slides out like that? Oh, yeah. He's, uh, slide that one back in and out. This is this speaks to Jill's language. Oh, so nice. this is the scarf bar, Jill. So cool. And we also have a similar accessory that's called a valet rod, which is right here. Okay. So this is fantastic for when somebody is preparing to go on a trip. Yeah. So they can make their outfits before, before they pack. Uh, I'm an early bird, or I used to be. Uh, so I put my clothes out the night before and I hang them on my valet rod at home so that in the morning I don't spend 15 minutes deciding what I'm going to wear. It's already decided for me. Now we're gonna we're gonna make fun of Eric Marshall for a second. Go ahead. <laughs> because two of the most popular pieces in the industry right here, the valet rod and the hamper. So hamper, dirty clothes. Ooh. Now, Barry. Yes. What's the most popular in your world? The hamper or the valet rod? Valet rod, far and away. Say that again to Eric Marshall. Eric, I love you, but valet rod's number one, buddy. Ah! Absolutely. <laughs> so pull, keep that out though. So we're going to ignore that. This is, go ahead, Barry. This is one of my favorite laundry hampers. It's in my own home. This is wonderful because it provides two baskets for, for whites and darks or for his and hers. Oh my or goodness. for gym clothes. And those are washable, right? They, like, I mean, right? If it gets dirty. It's easy to wash them. They're pretty like um, dirty sturdy and and they're light the old school hampers were super super heavy and and a little clunky yep. to really bring in and out this is actually by tag hardware that's purchased through hayfla so we always love that um go ahead bear we also have uh slanted shoe shelves with fences to hold shoes in place we do lighting with. I was just going to ask about the lighting because, you know, Wendy's taught me so much about lighting. What that's like a vertical lighting. How, what type of lighting do we have in there? So this is a Tresco light. Oh, OK. Uh, why and is it giving me so, the eyes? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> she's like, I got I got him. So you didn't remember what it was, did you? No clue. <laughs> I know what it is. This is a Tresco light that is also done by Richie, who we met the other week. Yes. Um, this is one of the lines that he's he carries. Tresco is a product done by Reva Shelf. So it's just a little bit different. It's a little bit wider. The newer models are actually like a quarter inch is what we talked about the other day. So Tresco lighting. And you can still move the shelves up and down. And it just illuminates everything. And by the way, Jill, I will tell you, I'm at 170 for shoes now. Come on. You bought a few more pairs. Look at I you. Don't, I, don't, don't, I couldn't. I couldn't help myself. I love it. Of course you can. True. All right, Bear, we're back on with you. Wendy, how many feet do you have? Two. Exactly. Yes. I was thinking maybe she like grew a few, but no. Yeah, she's amazing. I found the cutest Nike Air Force. I had to buy them. Of course. All right. So more right. fun toys. So here we have glass doors and I've had clients who love the glass doors because they have favorite handbags they want to store, but they want to see as a as a display. So we've created glass doors for handbags, for uh, Louboutin shoes. I've had a guy who is a big Buffalo Bills fan. So he had a memorabilia collection that we put behind. I can autograph doors. football in there. Absolutely. Now here, this is really cool. I don't, well, here, I'll just show you. We have a safe behind doors and oftentimes our clients have us put locks on the doors, but we use this electronic lock that I showed you a minute ago, a minute ago, so that people don't know there's anything valuable behind the doors. So we open this up and we've got a biometric safe we also have a safe that's fireproof by the same company, MyCube, which are fantastic products. And 
you know, we rely on all kinds of suppliers to help us grow our business. One of them is Amazon. They have this light, which is dead right now, but it's a rechargeable light and it's oh. motion activated. So USB charged right here. USB Perfect. charged. So you put a magnet on the shelf. You've got a light that is uh, motion activated. Wonderful, wonderful way to, to light up a cabinet. Awesome. One, show us what's, what's below that piece right there. Oh, this is one of my favorite accessories. While Hayfala sells this as a pant rack, my clients love this as a sari rack. So a lot of my oh. clients are Indian and they love being able to wow. hang their saris in a way that reduces the amount of ironing they have to do in order to wear the sari. Mm -hmm. Saris oftentimes are very expensive and they're passed down from generation to generation. So a lot of my clients like this accessory so they can preserve their favorite saris. I like that. I hadn't used that for a sari yet. I've been using them for just pants, which is the the use for it is it, yeah. it is a pant rack. Or we can use them also in pantries for tablecloths. Absolutely. Yeah. Good point. I have a client who just had us build a sari storage system, which had a number of these racks behind glass doors. And, you know, those saris are really important to her. They've been handed down from generation to generation. She's gone. She goes back to India once or twice a year and always brings back more saris. So we've helped our work clients organize sari collections from 30 saris up to 300. Wow. And we're going to take a peek over here. Did we put all the fun stuff here? Show me more. Show As me more. As you first walk in, he's got you know, a little mud room, which is, we talked about that the other yeah. day. Important to have seating mm -hmm. to storage. Um, me, personally, I'm not a fan of putting doors on shoes for the kids because what are they going to do? They're going to drop them in front of that drawer. Mm -hmm. They're not going to put them away. Unless you're really good at changing so and... True. Um, and training your child. So Barry, yeah. let's go back some more fun stuff. Please, come on back. It's the candy of Barry's showroom. <laughs> Everybody comments on that. Everybody. Oh <laughs> no, I meant in I meant in general. <laughs> I love that fresh candy. Oh, that is so cute. So on this wall, you see over here, uh, we we're constructing a new laundry room display. So down here is a perfect spot or front loading washer and dryer. When the clothes come out of the dryer, the homeowner can fold the clothes and separate them. So this can go into Susan's room, this can go into John's room, this can go into the primary closet. It's a wonderful convenience factor. And then we create oftentimes storage above this where we, a lot of the clients like having the bottom section open for those things they use frequently. And then we have cabinetry up top for added storage. The laundry room is just like the mud room. Oftentimes it becomes a catch all for those ad hoc things around the home that need a place to live, that need a place to survive. But we don't want them out in the open. We don't want them in the tra high traffic areas. So we can put it right here behind doors. Perfect. Now for those homes. Love it. For those families who don't have enough storage in their closets, we can build an armoire for them. So here in the armoire, you see that we can have hanging. Of course, we could put shelves in here and people could store folded clothes and shoes. In addition, all kinds of drawers, different heights, different And I'm liking that, that two-tone. What do we have there? Is that a navy or is that a black? I can't tell from So that. this color is called mis uh, Mysterious, which is the color match to Benjamin Moore's hail navy. And this, um, actually, that looks like a Lumia. That's a Lumia. But again, that matches Hale Navy. And you see the wonderful storage that can be created with these freestanding armoires. Now, this is sitting on the floor. So it's 100% safe. It's attached to the wall. It's not going anywhere. If somebody decided to move, assuming they have a space for it in their new home, they can certainly take this with them just by disassembling it, taking it off the wall, and moving. Now we're going to more fun stuff. Woohoo! Barry's wall. As a Ooh. as a business owner, you know, one of the 
one of the things I've worked very hard to do is to help my clients make decisions. And I call this decision central, where I can show my clients. I just had a, a family here at nine o'clock this morning where very easy to see the different colors of closet rods, baskets, different accessories that we offer, including the MyCube fireproof safe. And this tends to be the spot that just wraps up a discussion. Because at this point, we've already been through the design of their closet. We've made whatever tweaks they've wanted. They've picked out a color for the material itself. And then we come over here and it's like, okay, boom, 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 boom. And we're done. It's got. To, it's a lot easier when you can see it, touch it, feel it. Oh, absolutely. And the clients really appreciate that. And I would, candidly speaking, I'd say a third of my clients take advantage of the showroom and two thirds make all of the decisions in the home. We can work either way, whatever they're comfortable doing. Love it. So here's another pant rack as well as this is what I'm thinking of adding to mine. These pant racks I have, but look at that slide out ironing board yes i love it and this is a wonderful item for somebody who does some light ironing or they want to touch up a piece before they wear it it's very convenient it's nice and sturdy it works super well just folds and unfolds slides right into the cabinet it's really a wonderful accessory so much better and then you have your wall of colors Yes. And, um, you know, like the polo store where they show 60 colors of polos, but four of them represent, you know, 80% of their business. It's the same thing here. We've got 60, 70 colors to choose from. A handful represent 80% of the, of the installations we do. But again, the clients love being able to come in. They review the designs on this big monitor. And then we go through the colors and the, I help them understand the benefits of each color level, whether it's plain white all the way up to a wood grain product, looks like it's truly wood grain. Here we have Weekend Getaway, where the embossment matches the print, so the color goes with the texture and it looks like a real wood product. And we joke it's it's only a closet, but it's not only a closet. We can no, do all no, it's everything in the house. So here's a little piece that Barry made. Here's a here's a wine bar. So somebody can keep in here bottle openers, can openers, whatever they need. They can have glass cabinetry with either clear glass or smoked glass. It's really a nice way. And I won't say it's cheap, but it's a very effective way to add a little pizzazz to a living room or a den uh, with a really nice wine refrigerator, and some nice cabinetry. Absolutely. Now, Barry does have his office here. We'll just glaze that since he's dirty. Just yeah. kidding, Barry. And by the no. way, what is the exact location of the office? Could you share that? So we are in Montgomery, New Jersey, which is minutes outside of Princeton on Route 206. Good. So we'll just show you. We've got a couple more minutes before we're out of time. So this is another huge... Airy, I love his refrigerator. Isn't that gorgeous? Is the that pantry? So Barry, cool. you want to show us a little bit about your pantry? Have and talk to. talk about corner shelves? Absolutely, Wendy. Thank you. Your pantry's so neat. Oh, my gosh. Well, uh, this is my personal pantry for the showroom, which means I have lunch here. And the pantry is just fantastic. You know, with a, with a custom closet company, you have the ability to fill a space, make 100% utilization, of the space available to you and do it with material that's adjustable for your yeah. needs. So here, you know, you see all of the shelving. Well, because of the holes we put in the vertical panels, those shelves can get moved up and down, which honestly for some families is a boon. Yeah. Because, you know, if a family uses 30 different spices, but they have big jars to store the spices in, we can move the shelves up and down so there's no dead space. And here... We have a corner shelf, which is wonderful when a person is neat. You can actually use all of the space here all the way to the back corner and really maximize your storage of whatever it is you want to put in here, from dog food to rice to bottles of water. And what is the, the, the like aluminum? Is that like a wine bottle up there? Or like, yeah, what, I can't tell what that 
brackets. Oh, oh. candy, wow. short chill. It's candy. That's so, so funny. My eye went right to that. I'm like, what's that? The slide out wine thing? rack. And then you have another or one. For slide out candies. can or snack rack. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. And they all slide out. The snack basket. You can tell you can tell where my flavor, my uh, taste palette goes. Well, let me see if there's anything I need to steal for the drive back. And I saw the Cheez Its too. I'm a big Cheez It fan. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have a rollout. Wow. And then fresh base. So if somebody wants to store in here vegetables, onions, carrots, um, squash, not my personal favorite, but you can put all of those things in here. Or you can put in here saran wrap, aluminum foil, all mm -hmm. of those little things you need True. to keep the kitchen running efficiently. Yeah. And then for the last couple of minutes, you have the basic reach-in closet, which I showed you a little bit of my husband's, I think, or maybe not, because he's messy. But, but let me tell you, not everybody offers this, and I'm really proud of this element. This is what we call the standard installation for a reach-in closet, where the top shelf is the same depth as the shelves further down. The problem with that, because of this wall that overhangs, it's really hard to fit stuff up there. We have yeah. the ability to angle the top, reduce the depth of the top shelf, and look what happens. We can now use all of that space on the top shelf because oh. now we can actually access it because of this angled, what we call a vertical panel. Ooh. So this is a wonderful enhancement to a reach-in closet that adds probably 20% more storage space. Beautiful. And it's all about maximizing the space, right? When well, maximizing, oh yeah. Alana and I are planning a road trip to your house, by the way. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Ah, so I saw this a new picture. You're going to laugh at my closet. I, I know. Guess. So this is one we shot, saw in the beginning there what the, the closet went to the floor. This one is off the floor. Yep, you showed so me the So nothing is touching the ground. What it has is a steel cabinet rail. Everything is pulled to the wall and then there's additional fasteners. But that rail at eight feet holds 2,000 pounds. When you look right. at the shelves and you say oh well, i have a really heavy mixer is it going to fit the mixer the holes are rated to 110 pounds so you can put something in there where the damage happens is mm -hmm. friction and when somebody goes well it can hold 110 pounds i'm going to run up that stair and reach top no it's the friction that becomes mm -hmm. the issue so that is we have four minutes left of barry's lovely this is this is it, right? This is it. We're going to go right to the front. Beautiful. And we'll do another really quick tour around. Beautiful. And then we'll ask Barry how to get a hold of him. Awesome. So we're at the Montgomery Shopping Center in just outside of Princeton, Montgomery, New Jersey, off of 206. And he starts with, oh, is it possible? Yes. And I his mud room. The glam beauty shot, the candy. Wow. Which we love. And and you see right here, he's got his drawers on one side. Yeah. You don't have to have drawers on both sides. You can only do, you can do one size side if you're limited in space. We come back here. Does he do kitchens too? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> we, we in the closet industry stick, stay in our lane. We know better. Got it. This oh is my where God. we are good. So we will come right back to Barry's little office. I This is one of my favorite colors right here. And what and is that called again? This is Uniboard. Uh, which Uniboard is this one? This is... Um, Let's see. Cassis? Or we need to look check. This is Uniboard Cassis, Canis. I believe. Canis. Cans. Um, but it's it's melamine. It's TFL. Thermally fused laminate. It's not wood, but that sure looks like wood, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. And wear and tear wise, how does that hold up? Tell us. Typically better than wood. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I have clients who call me every 12 to 18 months to, to go back to their home and do additional spaces. And whenever I'm invited in, I ask to see the work we've already done. And this material candidly is so good. Uh, I've been in homes that we did eight, nine years ago, and the original closets look brand new. Sincerely, wow. they look brand new. That's so it's important. Really, yeah. Yeah. And when they go to sell the house, it'll be a wonderful selling feature. 
that they have this closet system that looks brand new. It brings all of this organization to the home. It's really a wonderful way to add value to your home. And it can be adjusted later to the new homeowners. Absolutely. Because that's why we have the whole system. So Barry, we have literally less than two minutes. You got three minutes. Go for it. You got three minutes. Okay. Okay. Anything else you want to tell us or do you just want to tell us how to reach you? Well, uh, my name is Barry. I'm the owner of Closet Possible. You can learn more about us at closetpossible.com. You can give me a call at 267-566-3222. We'd love to hear from you. Or Barry at closetpossible.com. And Barry has some exciting news. He has a commercial that will be disp- it's going to be showing this week. It's cool. going to start airing on Tuesday. Oh my goodness. So if you see it, shoot Barry a message on Instagram. Give him a shout out. So yeah. he'll be what's your Instagram name? On Instagram. You have two. Which one He's is like, it? like, I don't know. Just Google. Oh, I'm going to get in trouble now. He's ah! Do bury a message. Um, it's closet.possible. I, I, I think it's it's either closet.possible or closetpossible. We'll yeah. find it. We could just Google Reach it. Now, out to him. now, hold on. How do the two of you guys meet, Wendy? You know, I always like finding this Absolutely. Out. What Let is your do... backstory? Go ahead. Our backstory is, I'm going to stand next to Barry. Barry and I are members of the Closet Association which is the ACSP, Association of Closet and Storage Professionals. And I will tell you about Barry. Barry, when he found out I was going to have my own company, called me up that next day and said, hey, and Barry and I are competitors, FYI. I know you're going out on your own. What can I do to help you succeed? So chills, right? Do you have chills? Yeah, that doesn't happen often. That's amazing. That's Barry. That's part of the brothership uh, or the 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 family that we've created within having a closet association. There's enough, enough business for all of us. It's, you know, and if somebody calls you for an appointment, it's your job, to, it's your appointment to lose. So, you know, reach out, be friends. It, it's not going to hurt you. It's only going to help you grow your business and grow your own personal network. Love this. I love you too. And you can get me at Timeless Closets and Cabinetry for Facebook, Instagram, website at time wendy at timelesscc.com always a pleasure love it I'm, i was worried i'm like i don't think i need anything today for the show last week we had the scarves we had the sweater i'm like i didn't see an email so i'm, no I'm okay homework. i'm off the hook next week any homework yes um i want you to google mallory's army because we are going to have the founder on with us and it is a story that you don't want to be hit without knowing uh advanced knowledge on I'll send you her write up so you know what it is. Bullying. Okay. I just, uh, yeah. Quick. Oh, you my goodness. You know what it is. Yeah. Well, I just looked at it. Mallory's Army Unites Parents and Kids Against Bullying. Uh, I don't know Mallory's story yet, but I didn't Look read it story. or I'm going to hold off. We're going to have everything. Um, I actually, I just purchased a shirt for me and for you. I don't know if it's going to come in time. Oh, That's thank at Mallory's you. Army. Um, so if it comes fast, I'll call Jason to have it shipped to you. Thank but, you. Uh, just be prepared. She's going to be on there. She's going to talk about, um, for September, it's back to school. It's also anti-bullying and it's also um, suicide prevention. Okay. All right. So Thank you Google so the much. story so you're prepared and Diane will be with us next week and it'll be probably an emotional but an enlightening show. And so thank much. You, thank you. Looking forward to it. Thank you again, Barry. You guys are wonderful. Have a fantastic day. We'll Always a pleasure. Week. Bye. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. 
Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.